With Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 just around the corner, guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at the 20 best and most tryhard combos that you can use in this brand new season of Fortnite. There are going to be some brand new combos on this list that you guys have never seen before, so make sure you guys watch all the way through to see what the best combos for you to use in Season 2 are. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you are new, and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite combo is. But let's get started off, guys, with Brightstar and Gohan's Beast Blade. This is a brand new Marvel skin that was added to the game a few weeks ago. Now, this is part of the Marvel series. It isn't really an official Marvel skin. It still has a really clean design, though. I really like all of the bomber-themed skins in Fortnite, and this is basically a Captain America version of the Bright Bomber, so I think this skin is really, really sick. Gohan's Beast Blade actually fits in with the color styles of this combo really, really well, and that is why I think it is the perfect pickaxe to use for this combo. Next up, though, we need to talk about Hannah with the Gold Crow. Hannah is one of the most highly customizable skins that you can use in Chapter 4. It is also one of the most recent ones added to the game, and it is still very underrated today. I feel like not too many people really like the way this skin is designed. There are some other really highly customizable skins that have been a lot more popular than this, but I still feel like this is a really good skin that you guys can start using today. The Gold Crow is obviously going to fit this skin really, really well, but if you do want to use some of the other color styles for this skin, then you might want to use a more simplistic pickaxe like the Icebreaker. If you really want to use one of the newer skins in the game though, then I would recommend using Creed, and we're going to be pairing this with the Vault Guardian Pickaxe. Creed is definitely one of the newer skins in the game. It probably won't be a tryhard skin in the future, but I still think this skin is just so, so clean and so well designed that we had to include it on this list. The Vault Guardian is also a perfect pickaxe for this because it has such a clean design. It's going to basically work with every single skin in Fortnite, and that is why I think it is a perfect match for this skin. For right now, though, I feel like Kuno with the Scully Scepter is still just a little bit better than this. It is definitely one of the more tryhard skins that we have seen in a really long time. The design of this this skin is so, so clean, and we do have a few edit styles for it now as well. I feel like the Blizzard Buster Kuno is still the best, though. This is obviously going to match in really well with the Scully Scepter pickaxe as well. So if you guys are wondering which edit style of this skin to use, I feel like the Blizzard Buster is the best. Obviously, if you guys do want to stand out a lot more, then you could always use the Incinerator Kuno skin, but that is a completely different skin. So I feel like the original Kuno is still the better choice. This combo is quite expensive, coming in at 2,000 V-Bucks, though. So if you want to use something that is a little bit cheaper, then you can always use Halsey with the Harley Hitter. This skin was also added in the Battle Pass for only 950 V-Bucks, and considering it is a Battle Pass skin, you get so many different edit styles for this. The Harley Hitter is an 800 V-Buck pickaxe that is really, really clean. It's going to work with every single edit style of Halsey, regardless of which one you are using, and I feel like that is why it is the perfect pickaxe for this combo. Let's move on, though, guys, to one of the more underrated skins in the game, and this is the Polo Prodigy, and we are pairing this with the Electro Staff pickaxe. This is a crossover combo that the Polo Prodigy was added to the game with the Ralph Lauren crossover towards the end of Chapter 3, and the Electro Staff was added around the same time with the latest Star Wars crossover. I actually really love the way these items work together. I think they look so, so clean, and there are so many different styles of the Polo Prodigy that regardless of which one you use, it is going to work well with the Electro Staff pickaxe. Obviously, it might not be one of the more tryhard ones on this list, so if you guys do want to use a more tryhard combo, then something like Spider Gwen with the Scully Scepter might be the better option. Might not be as tryhard today as it was during Chapter Chapter 3 because it has been in the game for a while now, but I still feel like this skin is really good and definitely worth using. Obviously, it was a Battle Pass skin though, so if you guys didn't unlock this during Chapter 3, you will never be able to get this again. Spider Gwen is still a really clean skin though. I love all of the edit styles for this as well, and I just cannot wait until we finally have Miles Morales added to Fortnite. Let's move on though to our next combo, and this is Arctic Adeline, and we're pairing this with the Candy Axe. I've talked about this combo a few times on my channel already. I feel like Arctic Adeline is one of the most underrated skins in the game right now, and this was a free skin that you could unlock during the latest Winterfest update. All you had to do in order to get this was basically unlock all of the presents in the Winterfest cabin for two weeks, and you would be able to get this for free. It is such an amazing skin, it would have to be one of the best free skins that we have ever had as well, and it just makes sense that we pair this with a Christmas-themed pickaxe, which is the Candy Axe. Obviously, that is going to make this quite expensive, with the total price of this combo coming in at 1,500 V-Bucks, but I still feel like it is definitely worth it. A combo that is just a little bit more expensive though is Siren with the Star Wand. This is a combo that I've talked about so many times on my channel before, so I don't really need to talk about it too much, but this is just one of the best combos we have seen in the history of Fortnite. It probably should be finishing up a lot higher on the list, but we have just seen it being so popular for so long, it has finally started to drop off in Chapter 4. The same can also be said for Travis Scott, and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. Travis Scott has definitely been one of the more popular skins during the last few chapters of Fortnite, and now that we are in Chapter 4, this 
and he's only becoming more and more rare. It is only featured in the item shop once as well, so if you guys don't already own this skin, chances are you're never going to be able to get it again. The Harley Hitter is just going to work so perfectly with this skin. It's going to match in with all of the edit styles for it as well, which is definitely a bonus. The same can also be said for our next combo, and this is Aura, and we are pairing it with the Vault Guardian. The Vault Guardian, again, is one of the newest pickaxes in the game, and it was just added with the Heist game mode. Aura is one of the cleanest skins of all time. It is very similar to Siren in the fact that this has probably been one of the most popular and tryhard skins since it was first introduced back during Chapter 1 Season 8. Not a lot of tryhards are really using this anymore, though, because it has just been in the game for so long, but if you guys like the way this skin looks, I definitely recommend picking it up. A much newer combo, though, would have to be the Ageless, and we are pairing this with the King's Oath. The Ageless is the brand new Tier 100 Battle Pass skin during Chapter 4 Season 1, and obviously with this season ending in only a few days, if you guys haven't already got this, chances are you don't have enough time to unlock it. It is one of my favorite Tier 100 skins, though. I think it looks so, so clean, and it's just one of the best skins they have ever added. The King's Oath is a truly amazing pickaxe as well. Even though it isn't the pickaxe specifically designed for this skin, I feel like it works in really, really well. Maybe even better than the Eternal Blade, which was the pickaxe designed for this skin. If you want a much more tryhard combo, though, I would highly recommend using the Psycho Bandit with the Vault Guardian pickaxe. I know I'm talking about the Vault Guardian pickaxe a lot in this video, but I truly think it is one of the best pickaxes we have seen over the last few chapters, and that is why I think this is going to be one of the most tryhard pickaxes as well for the next few seasons. It's going to fit in really well with the Psycho Bandit. It is a really simplistic skin, so you do need a simplistic pickaxe for this, and that is why I feel like these items are going to work so well together. Obviously, we don't know if the Psycho Bandit is ever going to return to the game, though, so if you are like me and don't already own this, chances are you won't be able to buy it in the future. We also don't know if Chani will ever be added back to the game, but we are going to be pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. Chani is one of my personal favorite skins. It is easily one of the best designed skins Fortnite has ever added, and I feel like this also has the potential to be one of the most try-hard collab skins that we do ever see. The Leviathan Axe is one of my favorite pickaxes as well. It is so, so sweaty. It is extremely well designed as well. It is obviously going to send you back a thousand V-Bucks, but that is definitely worth it for a pickaxe this well designed. It has its own custom animation, which is truly incredible, and I feel like these items just work so well together. It might not be as try-hard as some of the other combos on this list, especially if we are going to mention Celine with the Star Wand. Celine is one of the newest Battle Pass skins that has been added to the game. It is also one of the most try-hard Battle Pass skins we have seen in a really long time. A lot of people think Helsey is the better Battle Pass skin, but personally, I feel like Celine is just a little bit better. It's going to work with the Star Wand so, so perfectly. I feel like these items are almost made for each other, and if you guys have been grinding out this season, then all of the edit styles for Selena are also going to work with this combo. I feel like this could stay try hard for a really long time as well, and the same can also be said for Glitch, and we are also going to be pairing this with the Vault Guardian Pickaxe. Glitch is just one of the cleanest skins we have ever seen. There are so many ways to customize this skin that are so unique and unlike anything we have ever seen before. The reason I'm pairing this with the Vault Guardian Pickaxe is not only because it is one of the newest pickaxes in the game, but it is also one of the most try hard ones right now. And it is a really simplistic pickaxe, so regardless of what color styles of glitch you guys end up using, it is going to work really well with it. If you don't own the Vault Guardian, then you could always use something like the Icebreaker or the Driver, and that is going to have the same effect. We are also going to be using the Vault Guardian with our next combo though, and this is Shady Zadie and Spy Catcher Siren with the Vault Guardian. The Agency Renegade bundle is by far one of my favorite bundles they have ever added to the game. There are some other bundles that I think are just a little bit better, but in terms of well-designed skins and value for money, the Agency Renegade bundle would definitely be up there. We did get three skins in this bundle, but I really only think the Shady Zadie and Spy Catcher Siren are worth using. They are remakes of some of the best skins of all time as well, so it just makes sense that these items are try-hard in Fortnite. Because these items were added to the game in a money bundle and you had to spend around $20 in order to get them, they probably won't be as popular as a regular item shop set of skins, and that is probably why they will never be as popular as something like the superhero skins with the Scully Scepter. The superhero skins are just so popular in Fortnite, I knew I had to include them on this list, not only because they have been so tryhard, but also how popular they have been over the last few years. They were some of the first ever highly customizable skins that we had in the game, and I feel like for that reason they are still so popular today. We have had a lot of other really good customizable skins added to the game since this, but nothing has 
has been as popular as the superhero skins, and honestly, I don't think that is going to change anytime soon. They have started to drop off a little bit over the last few weeks, though, but one combo that hasn't dropped off is Lara Croft, and we are pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. I feel like Lara Croft is by far the most successful Battle Pass skin they have ever added to Fortnite. For a skin to not only be more popular once that season ended, I think it is just so, so insane, and unlike we have ever seen before, maybe apart from Midas. Lara Croft has stayed popular for a lot longer though, Midas sort of died down towards the end of chapter 3, but Lara Croft is still popular today, and that shows you guys how good this skin really is. By pairing it with the Leviathan Axe as well, it gives you guys the freedom to choose whatever edit style of Lara Croft you want to use. The default style is the most tryhard, but the green and the gold edit styles also look really, really good. But finally guys, coming in at the number 1 position, we have the Gold-Blooded Ace and the Vault Guardian Pickaxe. This is one of the newest combos in the game, the Gold-Blooded Ace was added to the game with the highest update, and so was the Vault Guardian Pickaxe. Both of these items just look so clean together, I love the way they look, and since they are some of the newest items in the game as well, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be using this over the next few weeks. I don't really know how popular or try how this is going to be during Season 2, but I can tell you guys right now, this is definitely one of the best looking combos in the game right now. But there you guys go, that is my list for 20 combos for you to use in Chapter 4 Season 2. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below what combo you are going to be using next season, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.